Welcome to a step-by-step -step guide to implementing interstitial ads in Android. I will be creating a simple app that will load an ad on pressing a button. Once the ad is loaded, I will change the button to show the ad. First of all, go to App Level Gradle file and add the ads dependency and sync the project. Now, let's add the AdMob app ID in the manifest file. You can find all add IDs down in the description. I am going to clear the generated code and make some space. Let's start by initializing mobile ads in our application. I am going to create a callback function to load an ad. Actually, let's name it ad request and pass a boolean. We will use the boolean to determine if the ad is loaded or not. Create another function to show the ad. Let's make them both private. Create a variable to store the interstitial ad that will be initially null. Create another variable to store the interstitial add test ID and paste the ID. Go to the load add function and create an add request. Load the ad by providing the context, ad united that I declared before, the ad request I made, and then attach the ad load callback. Override the on ad loaded and on ad failed to load method. If the ad is loaded, assign it to our interstitial ad, if the ad fails to load, make the ad null. You can also add logs to see the ad status. In the show interstitial add function, I am going to check if the add is null. In case the add is null, add a toast saying the add is null. If the add is not null, call the show function by passing the context. Perhaps use the add callback and remove the null check because it is not required. Attach the full screen content call back to the ad before showing the ad. This will allow us to override valuable methods to examine the ad. On ad dismiss callback is called when the user closes the ad. Assign null to the ad once it is dismissed so we can load the ad again. On add impression is called when an impression is received on the ad.
On Ad Clicked is called when the user clicks on the ad, you can see the behavior by adding logs. I think we are done with the ad, now let's create the UI. Create a Boolean state to update the text on the button. Create a column. Add a button in the column. Create a text for the button to handle the add status. If the add status is true, meaning the add is loaded, then set the button's text to show add, else set it to load add. Inside on click, check the add status again. If it is true, call the show add function, else call load and update the add status with the callback. Go back to the load add function and invoke the callbacks. Let's see if the ad works. Press the load add button, once the ad is loaded, the button is updated to show ad. Press the button again, and the ad is shown.